Acura confirms Innis X-Type EV headed to production. Hey EV lovers, welcome to EVpedia, your ultimate hub for electric vehicles. If you're as excited about EVs as we are, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and drop a comment below. And if you want to help us bring even more amazing content, consider giving us a super thanks. The car will be based on Honda's Zero Series electric platform and debut in 2027 or 2028. After years of rumors, Acura finally confirmed plans to build an NSX type EV. We are going to introduce a new sports model in 2027 or 2028, Global Executive Vice President Shinji Aoyama told a group of journalists, including Motor One, during a roundtable interview at Monterey Car Week. We may not call it an NSX, but it's kind of an NSX type of vehicle, Aoyama added. He went on to say the car would ride on Honda's new Zero, Zero, series electric architecture, which will underpin its first electric sedan set to launch in 2026. A third-generation NSX has been rumored since 2021, when Acura Vice President and Brand Officer John Ikeda said in an interview that there's gonna be another NSX. Our development approach for this new Zero Series car is thin and light, Aoyama said. So this means, basically, how to make the platform thinner than other existing vehicles. So even with battery dimensions, we are trying to make a thinner vehicle so that we can realize a lower height vehicle. This means that we can realize a larger cabin as well. An all-electric NSX would have big shoes to fill. The last version, which ended production in 2022, used a twin-turbo V, six and three electric motors to make a combined 600 horsepower in Type S form. It looked great and handled well, able to take the fight to contemporaries like the McLaren 650S, Lamborghini Huracan, and Ferrari 488. While straight-line speed won't be a problem for the NSX, ish, EV, handling, and track endurance remain a question mark for even the most expensive electric supercars on the market today. Plus, there's the issue of sound. The second-gen NSX's V, 6 doesn't exactly ignite the soul, but it sounds a whole lot more appealing than the whir of a few electric motors. We'll just have to wait until 2027 to find out what Honda has in store. Jeff Perez contributed to this report. That's it for today's episode of EVpedia. If you had fun, subscribe, like, and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to give us a super thanks to support our channel. Thanks for watching, and stay charged. Until next time, keep it electric.